Police and doctors say the abuse that killed an eight-month-old baby girl was no accident. Tonight, that child's father is charged with her murder and sexual assault. Thanks for being with us for the news at 5 o'clock. Police and paramedics rushed to a motel in Inkster last Thursday on a report of an eight-month-old not breathing. A little girl died from her extensive injuries on Sunday, and now her 22-year-old father is accused of killing her. Let's bring in Mara McDonald. Uh, Mara, the injuries that the girl sustained are just horrific. They're bad, Devin, and that's just for starters here. We're talking about multiple skull fractures, a brain bleed, a retinal hemorrhage, and then there are other injuries that we're not going to get very specific on. Let me explain. Please stand to your feet. 22 year old James Salt Marshall spent the majority of his arraignment moaning with his hands covering his mouth. Count one, felony murder, homicide. When paramedics got to the Alpine Motel in Inkster last Thursday, Salt Marshall's eight month old baby girl wasn't breathing. He had been left to care for her at the motel while the child's mother was at work. Doctors at Children's Hospital detailed the injuries that killed the little girl for detectives. They uh, uh, thought there was a child had skull fractures, brain swelling, and some other uh, bruising. It was the head injuries that killed her, but doctors also found extensive evidence of sexual assault. Salt Marshall, for his part, originally told police he fell asleep with his little girl in the crook of his arm and then woke up to her not breathing. Doctors say, no way is that what happened. That you did knowingly or intentionally cause serious physical harm to a child. That's a felony punishable by up to life in prison. Back here live, detectives say that after they interviewed Salt Marshall extensively, after he first said that his daughter never fell, she never was shaken, anything like that, he then changed his story to say that, well, maybe she had fallen out of bed still. Doctors say that his story just doesn't add up. The judge put him in jail with a $2 million bond. Kimberly, Devin, back to you. All right, Mark.